pillows are life-saving for small people. I really feel like it's not in focus, but okay. Hi guys, my name is Modesta and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am not in my own room today. I am in my girlfriend's house and this is her mother's art, little artistic place where she paints and everything. But the lighting is really good here, so I thought let's go sit here. Anyway, back to the video. It is full on summer here in the Netherlands. Well, not really, it rained so bad this morning, but because it is summer here you get every tumblr post and everything about summer body and getting fit and nobody actually really doing it so with the whole summer body subject i was like let's make a video about going to the gym or specifically why i don't go to the gym first things first you gotta get to that gym i don't know how it is with you guys out there but in the netherlands everybody cycles everywhere and i am not allowed to use the car for small tasks so i have to cycle to the gym the nearest gym is about 15 to 20 minutes away i feel like that says enough already so if you even get to the gym there's your second obstacle, the dressing rooms. I'm not that big of a fan of changing with other people around, but it's more like there's people over there that are really buff and there's people over there that have the best summer body that you want to get. And then those 80 year old grandmas in the corner that you don't really want to see without clothes. It is just like, I don't need to see this from you or you're intimidating, I want your body, please don't show it off to me, just like that. All right, with the whole dressing room thing comes the gym outfit. Now, I myself am not really a girly girl type, in case you might have hadn't noticed yet, but I never really know what I feel like wearing in a the gym. There's like nothing that I think really matches what I wear on a daily basis. I will wear sport leggings. They feel a little feminine. They feel cool though, but with a crop top or with very tight sports bra, they feel a little too feminine and too revealing for me because I never really reveal that much because my shirts are oversized. But I also don't feel like putting on white shorts and the biggest t-shirt ever. That just makes me look twice as skinny as I already am. So I'm always like struggling with the whole gym outfits thing because I feel like if other people are there, you know, you don't have to look good, but it is nice if you're like confident in what you're wearing at that point because that will make you stronger and make you more motivated. Feeling a little intimidated by the extra fit people. If you even make it to the point of getting into the gym, there is this next thing. And whenever you walk into a gym, there are always extra, extra buff people out there. You look at them and they look back at you and you just feel intimidated. You're like, what am I doing here? I'll never get that buff. I'll never get that slim of a body. What am I doing? Using the right weight. Last step of actually working out. Get on one of those machines and put it on the right weight. It is your first time in the gym or maybe like second or third time and you start putting it on a weight and you're like, well, 10 seems a little low. 20 might be just right for you. 30 would be pretty impressive for a rookie. So what do you do? You put that thing on 50 and lift it with your freaking life. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon.